Welcome to part 2 of the Indigo Material Editing tutorial. Having covered the three most basic materials in the previous video, we'll now go over three of the more complex materials, specular, glossy transparent, and diffuse transmitter. We return to our piggy bank scene and switch its material from fong to specular. This diagram, from the Indigo manual, shows the typical interaction between a light ray and a pane of glass. The most important thing to notice in this diagram is that the glass is getting its color from the absorption of light as it travels through the medium. This is important because many unphysical rendering systems model colored glass using absorption at the surface, when it's really due to absorption properties of the medium. This is known as Beer's Law, and actually has nothing to do with alcoholic beverages. So let's set that now and see how it looks. After setting the absorption to a purplish color, the glass color seems about right, but the overall amount of dimming needs adjusting. This can be achieved with a brightness parameter, which will increase now to 8 to produce that deep green wine bottle appearance. We'll attempt to reproduce the appearance of the glass used in this wine bottle image. When pure white light enters the glass, most of the red and blue part of the spectrum are absorbed, leaving behind mainly green light. Now that we've covered the somewhat tricky absorption parameter, we can continue to the other important medium property, its IOR. The higher the IOR, the more dense the medium becomes, and the more it will reflect light instead of allowing it to transmit into the medium. A higher IOR also makes it more likely that light will bounce around inside the object due to total internal reflection. Glass typically has an IOR of about 1.5 and water 1.3. The IOR actually depends on the light's wavelength, which is what causes the dispersion we see in prisms, for example. This can be modeled in Indigo via the Cauchy B parameter, which Wikipedia tells us should be around 0.005. This relatively small adjustment produces quite a subtle visual difference, and can substantially increase the rendering time due to added color noise, and is therefore rarely used. Jumping ahead a few minutes, we see a smooth dispersion effect around the refracted letters in the background. The next material type, Glossy Transparent, has much in common with both Specular and Fong. You can think of it as frosted glass. It behaves like glass, but with a rough surface which is controlled in the same manner as the Fong material, via its exponent parameter. As we can see, lowering the exponent parameter produces an increasingly rough or frosted appearance, and this can be relatively slow to converge compared to Perfect Specular. Finally, we'll briefly mention the Diffuse Transmitter material. Instead of using a very low exponent Glossy Transparent material, Diffuse Transmitter simulates a kind of perfectly rough or diffuse transmitting material. On its own, Diffuse Transmitter won't reflect any light back outwards, so it's normally blended together with a diffuse or fong material, but we'll have to cover that another time. 